Hello, welcome. Read this problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, let's start by reading this problem. It says, last year the total revenue for Homestyle, a national restaurant, increased, so it's increasing, oops, by 5.25. So, okay, it's, that's an increase right there over the previous year. If this trend were to continue, which expression could the company's chief financial officer use to approximate their monthly percent increase in revenue were Emma's months? All right, so I'm going to say that if you had some function where you had the amount of money based on time, let's say T is for years, that would have to equal what? Well, we don't know the principal amount, but we know that there's some principal being invested, and it's going to be 1 plus 0 0.0525. That's 5.25% per year, let's say T. Now, if we were to simplify this, we can get principal times um, 1.0525 times T, and we might be done. Except that there's a couple of things to think about. First of all, they only want us to focus on the amount increasing by. So that's this portion of our equation. We're not concerned with the principal balance right here, so we're kind of ignoring that. Um, the second thing is that we're writing this in months, and I have a feeling that they're going to do some play with the exponents here, so let me show you what I mean. Um, so first of all, let's say we change our time to months. So I'll use m for months. So first of all, what would that mean? That would mean that our principal balance is being multiplied by 1.0525, but instead of it happening over once over the course of the year, it's going to happen 12 times. We're going to multiply 12 times to get 1.0525. So that would be the 12th root of what we had before. So that's, um, I'm going to say, months divided by 12. Divided by 12, this is an exponent, is the 12th root. Now, if that doesn't make any sense to you about what just happened, right, think about what happens when we plug in 12. 12 months, right, would be a full year. So if we plug in 12, we can see, all right, does this make sense? 0.0525. Well, 12 divided by 12 here in the exponent, what's that? That's just 1, right? So for 12 months, that should be the same as 1 year. And it is. It matches what we get here if we plug in 1 for year. So that, that seems to make sense to me, right? And if you wanted to, you can plug in 1 for months just to see what's going on here. Let's just make sense of this. If you plug in 1 for months, you would get the principal balance times 1.0525 to the 1 12th power, the 12th root. So after one month, there's some principal balance, but it's growing by uh, the 12th root of 1.0525. Because if we take 1.0525 and we multiply it, right, the 12th root of it, 12 times, so once, twice, I'm not going to write it 12 times, but I want you to see what I mean, over and over and over again here. If you did that 12 times, think about what happens here. We have equal bases, 1.0525. We would add these exponents. If you added them all up, if there were 12 in a sequence here, if you added these all up for a full year, you get 1.0525 to the, well, 1 12th added 12 times is just 12 over 12 or 1. So over the course of the year, right, with each month, we get the 12th root of what we get over the course of the year. We're basically getting the same interest in the end. It shouldn't change. This is not like compounding interest where you might actually get more. Um, here we're just taking that interest and dividing it essentially between the months uh, by rooting it. Now notice here, we don't see that choice. It's not even there, right? So have we done something wrong? No, because this is where the exponent play comes in. So I'm going to write above the problem. Okay, so we have this working expression right now, 1.0525 to the m over 12 power. Now, they love this on the regions. Here's what I mean. When you have m over 12, that's the same thing as 1 12th times m. Those are equivalent statements. So really, we're dealing with one point. We can think of this as 1.020525 to the 1 12th to the m. And with exponents, 
since they're being multiplied, we can apply them in any order. So if I take 1.0525 and raise that to the 1 12th power, first, whatever number that is, and raise that to the m, it must be equivalent. So on my calculator, I can do that. I can enter in, let me quit out of this, 1.0525 to the power of, as I write as a fraction, 1 divided by 12. That's the 12th root. Hit enter, and we get 1.00427. So that's 1. Point, oops, got to use red again. 1. Point oh, that, that dot is just too large. 1.00427 to the m power. That's equivalent, and that's choice three. So often you'll find on the regions problems you have to change the increment of time, but then you have to redistribute the exponent kind of like we did here. All right, hope that helped.